about a year since I last shopped on Shein and uh, they have been bombarding me with Facebook ad... ad oh dear. Sorry. Look, I saw it, there was a, like a TikTok accent challenge that I saw the other day and I normally say advertisements, but then the Americans told me I'm supposed to say advertisements. See, TikTok has me really like self-conscious about my accent now, but anyway. Ever since I last shopped on Shein, they have been bombarding me with Facebook ads and I've been ignoring them, I've been scrolling on past, but recently there was an ad that I just could not scroll past. The item that they featured in the ad was too cute for me to resist and I thought to myself, you know what, that's a thing people do on YouTube. They post videos where they buy everything from a Facebook ad, so that's what I did. I bought every single thing from a Shein Facebook ad. I have the parcel here. I'm supposed to be going out for dinner and um, as you can probably see, the lack of clothing behind me is because we moved and all of my clothes are in boxes and because we're supposed to be going out for dinner tonight and I can't wear this dress because I've been wearing it for five days in a row, I should probably open the Shein box and uh, hopefully if anything in that parcel is good, I can wear it to dinner. It's been weeks since I put through the order and I don't remember what I got. Let's hope that there's something good. So uh, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to show you the shopping experience. I'm going to show you now some footage of uh, me shopping online and the Facebook ad and you can see the things that I bought and um, we'll be back momentarily after you've seen me shopping. I was just scrolling through my Facebook feed and this appeared in front of me. This Shein ad. Shein ads pop up literally every day on my Facebook. It's unavoidable. I normally just scroll straight past them because I'm not interested. But this, right here, do you see it? Look at this glorious cardigan. And right next to it, a purple dress with daisies on it. This, this did make me pause and think, perhaps, perhaps I will give Shein another try. So here we are, guys. I'm putting through a Shein haul right now. I'm just gonna open all of these things up in new tabs. So we have drop shoulder embroidered detail, $27.95 for that cardigan. Okay, this dress is 25. This little two piece set, 24. Oh, by the way, this is all Australian dollars. This little two piece set, very Brandy Melville. So that's 24. I would normally have zero interest at all in buying this, but I have to buy everything in this ad. So I guess we're adding this one. Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. That's only $15. Okay, yep, more daisies, good. See, this confuses me. Is this for kids? I don't think so. I think this is for adult kids, if you know what I mean. Why are you doing this to me, Mr. Zuckerberg? <laughs> you naughty naughty. Oh, okay. Now, see, this, this makes up for the what we just saw. This this adorable mock neck sweater, $33. That looks really pretty. Uh, okay, yeah, not my style. My colour scheme though, don't mind it. I think these pants, they follow me everywhere. Shein really wants me to have these pants. The universe wants me to have these pants. They're on my Facebook page every day. This, you know, you know, a nice colour. Again, it's pastel. Oh my god, literally everything so far has been pastel. Um, and that's it. That's that's everything. That's the end of the ad. Okay. So let's have a look at these things. So this top, this looks very cute. I'll, I'll add it in a small. Uh, let's have a look at some of these reviews. So we've got, she says, I'm in love with this cardigan. It fits so nicely. The material is so thick and comfortable. Okay, these are, these are, like some pretty solid reviews that we have here. Larger than I thought, that's okay. It'll just be baggy on me. Hopefully I won't look fat. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> look, baggy clothes are in. If that's something that Billie Eilish has been teaching us lately. All right, so next, this little purple dress. Oh, this comes in other colors too. So size, let's go, uh, let's, I'll go for a small, just so I have that little bit of extra length. Oh my gosh, look at her. <gasps> She's so glorious. Oh, it looks amazing on her. What size did she get? She says, I'm a size eight. The medium fits just fine. The back of the dress is see-through. I recommend wearing a nude bra. But these people are gonna put me out of a job. 
Like, literally, who needs pretty pastel reviews when you can just go on Shein and read what the customers say? Oh, she looks so cute. I love this. My new favorite dress. OMG, one of my favorite dresses ever. Feel like a princess. Can see myself wearing this at Disneyland. Going to make a huge summer haul video on my YouTube channel. Tanya Stefani. Don't forget to check it out soon. Hold on. You mean we can shamelessly self-promote on Shein reviews? What about this? True to size, lovely double lining. Oh my god! Are they like couple goals or what? Who are these beautiful people? Oh my god, they're be- look at her hair! Okay, enough of this. I I've seen enough. <laughs> this also comes in baby blue. Oh, the baby blue is so cute and it comes in white as well. Alright, this little clueless outfit. I'll get this one in a small. Uh, let's see what people have to say. It's perfect. I love it. Can't wait to wear it with my Doc Martens. Oh, that's a good styling idea. Next, we've got this thing that I really don't want, but I'm gonna get for the sake of the ad. This is, you know, for the sake of trying out the clothing that Mr. Zuckerberg thinks that I should wear. So this comes in baby pink and like some sort of bluish color too. I'll get it in a small. What are people saying about 3,948 reviews? Good lord. All right, next, this little Daisy Gingham shirt. We've got, what does she say? It's a tiny bit large on the top. Okay, so an extra small should fit me. If she's saying it's a bit large on top, an extra small should be okay. Oh my god, so cute, especially with the matching shorts. Oh, who are you? Ah! I'm in love with all of these people. All of these beautiful girls leaving reviews on Shein. Literally, I may as well just quit YouTube now. They don't need me. Uh, who are you? You should start a YouTube channel. Ah, uh, yes, this. One size. Good. Great. W makes sense. Okay, what's this? Sive hermoso e muy sexy per mi aparetaba. Las boobs horrible. <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. Boobs horrible. <laughs> All right. Next, this glorious jumper. Small. Add to bag. Whoa. So pretty. Okay. Yeah. What? What? What are people saying? I bought a large for an oversized and slightly cropped top look. I'm also petite and short and a large fit perfect. These reviews are so th Do people get paid to make these reviews? Like they're so thorough. What is the incentive? Do you get points or something for leaving in-depth reviews on Shein? Is that how this works? Cause like people are leaving some really rad reviews. Look how good she looks. <gasps> wow. Okay, this dress that I am not looking forward to. Um, what do people say? Great. She says, great. Came fast, runs big, but it's cute. Gonna shrink it, it runs big. Okay, so should I size down then? I would recommend going a size down. Right, okay. So I was gonna order a small, but I think I'll go for an extra small. And these pants, the pants that I can't escape. Uh, what do people say? So, so beautiful. Well, yes you are, ma'am. Oh my God, <gasps> she's like a Fashion Nova model, oh my God. Okay, wow, she's beautiful too. Mm, I'm in love with all of the girls that shop on Shein. Oh my god! Look how beautiful she is! Look! She's just an angel! An angel! Look, this comes in multiple different colours. We've got lilac purple, a dark purple, a blue, and a black. She says, this top is the cutest. It looks just like the pictures. If you compare with jeans or a skirt and even short. Oh my god, these people are giving out free style advice. That's all of the things from the Facebook ad. So that comes to $210.50. That is a lot less than I thought it was going to be. Like, significantly less than I thought it would be. Wow. Okay. All right. See you in a couple of weeks. Okay, I hope that was a fun experience for you, observing that. Now you know what's in the parcel. I don't remember. All right. Um, what am I going to do with you? Oh, yes, good. Yes, come in. Okie doke. Item number one. Look, these pants have been haunting me for years. Like, literally years. Every time I've ever seen a Facebook ad for Shein, they've shown me these long, fluffy pants. Come here. What's that? Do you like them? They have feathers on them. I personally can't imagine wearing these out anywhere. These are like pajamas to me. At least that's what I think of when I see them. I think of like uh, a rich lady that's mourning the death of her third husband and um, she's just lounging around the house with a glass of wine in one hand and wearing these. 
That's what I think of, and I have no idea where I'll ever wear them. Look, right off the bat, they are not hugely stretchy. This, there isn't a huge amount of give in this elastic. It's a little bit difficult to pull and uh, they're very sheer. Like if I hold this up, I can actually see the camera. I know you probably can't see me, but I can see you, my friends. Stop picking your nose. On the plus side, they look like they are very, very, very long. Now I'm about five foot, I think I'm five foot eight. Look, I give you a different height every time I tell you my height. Sometimes I say I'm five nine, sometimes I say I'm five seven. Well, I use centimeters. <laughs> I don't know inches and feet, but I think I'm, I think I'm five foot eight. And normally pants from Asian stores are a little bit too short on me, but these look like they're actually touching the floor and they're around my waist. All right, so I've put these pants on just with a white turtleneck because I couldn't really think of anything else to try them on with. Because I have literally no idea how to style fluffy blue pants. But anyway, I just need to say this now. Yes, I know, I know. I know. I know you can see my underwear. I'm wearing black undies because I want to give you guys like a visual representation of how thin the fabric is. So like if you're wearing dark colored undies, you will see straight through it because it's very, very sheer fabric. I have these massive shoes that I'm wearing with these. These are shoes from my LaModa video the other day. Surprisingly, this doesn't happen to me very often. The pants are so long that they touch the ground if I don't wear heels. That was a very, very pleasant surprise for me because I am so used to getting pants that look long on the models, but the models are four foot nothing. And then I receive them and like they, they don't even come past my knees. <coughs> yes, style. <coughs> it was a, a pleasant surprise when these touch the ground. Now that I'm wearing them, I love the color. I think the color is super, super cute. It's such a shame about the back. Obviously this, the white feathers on the bottom, they're gonna get very, very, very dirty, very, very easily, especially if you're wearing these without tall shoes and they're just dragging on the ground, they're gonna get very dirty. So I do kind of feel like these are more indoor pants than anything. If you wanna wear them out, if you can think of some outfit that I should wear with this, please let me know. As you can see, they come up super, super high on the waist. I don't find it particularly flattering myself. It, it looks a little bit weird. I would not have bought these pants under regular circumstances, my friends. Please forgive me. But if you're after pants like this, I think you may actually like them. All right, this is the item. This is it. This was the thing that was at the start of the Facebook ad that made me say, that is so cute. How can I not buy it? Get, get off the camera, mate. Here you can see the knitted flowers. I don't know how these are gonna go longevity wise. I don't know if they will last the test of time. I'll tell you what, overall quality of this cardigan, it really doesn't feel bad at all. It feels quite lovely. Uh, in a store, if I walked into a shop and I saw that and I was like, hey, it's a yellow cardigan with flowers on it, I'm gonna buy it. I would probably pay like $30. This is cute. This is really cute. Pairing this really pretty buttercup yellow with this baby blue on the bottom. It's adorable and I love it. And this top, it's so comfortable. This is literally amazing. I love it. Like right off the bat, happy to recommend this to you guys. Anyone watching this, if you like the look of this top, go for it and buy it with full confidence because it feels lovely. I'm not wearing anything under it and it's really soft against my skin. It's not itchy or scratchy. The sleeves, I have quite long arms. And look, the sleeves, the sleeves are long. They're long sleeves, I love it. And also, they have this sort of nice cinched in detail here. So they're kind of like puffy sleeves. I feel cute, I feel really cute. I love these little flowers. And also this has really inspired me because um, this looks quite simple. Like I am by no means a seamstress. In fact, I've never used a sewing machine in my life. I have used a needle and thread though. And, and looking at the simplicity of this flower design, I feel like I could do this myself. Oh, oh, actually before, before we go any further, I need to tell you guys this. So December, I'm, you know how other people on YouTube do like a vlogmas? It's something I've never done because like <laughs> who has time to film a video every single day and upload literally every single day? And like who has time to watch all of that? Maybe you do. Uh, if you do, please watch the videos that I'm going to be uploading in December. However, I'm not going to be doing vlogmas. I'm going to be doing thriftmas. See, like 
it's 2020, a lot of people are experiencing financial hardships. People, are, they've lost their incomes, all sorts of things. Christmas is right around the corner and as a bit of an F you to consumerism in December, I was thinking instead of posting the regular sort of content about like fast fashion or about buying things from Wish or Christmas decorations from Wish and all that sort of thing, I want to dedicate the entirety of the month of December to thrift shopping. I do have a couple of like normal videos that I also need to post with like sponsorships that I had locked in a little while ago. So I will also be posting them. But aside from those ones, I want to dedicate all of my content in December to thrift shopping. And each video is gonna have a different theme. So it'll be like buying Christmas decorations from thrift stores or, you know, buying uh, white clothing and then flipping it you know, doing a DIY, like dyeing the fabric and doing embroidery and stuff like that. Getting my friends to shop for me, picking Christmas presents from thrift stores. Like every video I post will have thrifting in it in some way, shape and form. And I know one of the videos that I'm going to be posting because I've already started it, is I bought only white clothing from a thrift store and I'm going to be completely flipping it, doing like a pastel thrift flip where I'm going to be dyeing the fabrics different pastel colors and things like that. And the reason that I bring this up now is because this top with the really adorable embroidered flowers has made me think that one of the white tops that I got would be perfect for me to dye yellow with fabric dye. And then I can just stitch on some really simple little flowers. So I just wanted to put that out there that please bear with me throughout December because I'm going to be putting the regular content on hold and just promoting thrifting. And I think that you guys are really going to enjoy it. I hope that you do. But yeah, this top just made me think, I better tell you guys, I better give you a warning because otherwise people are going to be like, what? where are the Wish videos? Where are the S-Style videos? Why is it all thrifting? Anyway. With this top, this would be very easy to recreate yourself if you had just like a, a nice knitted sweater. If you had a plain knitted sweater and you wanted to add a little bit of spice, you could just like sew on some little flowers. This is so cute. We have how many of this? Three, three down each sleeve. We have these really cute big brown buttons. It's super soft, it's cropped, it's lovely. This is like now one of my favorite things. I feel adorable. I feel like this is something that maybe Belle would wear if she was like a modern day kid on TikTok or something, I don't know. So this one is a great success. You guys know something I like to say is stick a bunch of daisies on it. Any piece of clothing instantly elevated by sticking daisies on it. It looks so sweet. So it's got this kind of like sheer netted material on the outside, which is what the daisies are embroidered on. And then it's um, like a purple kind of slip on the inside, which is very, very thin. I'm a little bit concerned that you'll be able to see underwear through this. And I'm also concerned that it's not going to be long enough for me. I think we may be flashing people. Let's find out. Guys, guys, look at me in this dress. It's so cute! Okay, yes, it is sheer. Remember, I'm, I'm wearing black undies. So you can see how sheer it is. That's how sheer it is. So you, you can see through it. So once again, just be conscious of what you wear underneath. But, <laughs> so I was worried about the length. Yeah, as you know, I said, I, I thought it might be possibly a little bit too short, but no, this is, the purple layer underneath is not too short. And then the layer on top is that little bit longer. So it just adds that little tiny bit more modesty. We are currently off the shoulders. Let's see, can I wear it on the shoulders? Is that, is that how it's supposed to be worn? I actually think I might prefer it on the shoulders. So I've obviously paired it with these Lamoda shoes with the white socks because it, it just, it felt right. The shoes have daisies on them. The dress has daisies on it. It just makes sense, you know? I'm not certain, but I think, I think if I change what I'm wearing underneath, I think I can safely wear this to dinner. I think. I know there's gonna be some Karens out there saying, Alex, you're 27 years old, you can't wear things like that. That's something that a 16 year old would wear. And to those people I say, worry about what you're wearing, ma'am. If I want to look 16 again, it's my right to do so. If I want to wear a little baby doll dress with daisies on it at 27 years old, it is my right to do so. <laughs> Please take your complaints to your book club and don't leave them in my comment section. I feel great wearing this dress. I think I look cute. It makes me feel cute. It's really light, very easy to wear. Perfect for the hot Australian summers. I really feel like this is going to be a staple in my wardrobe and it comes in a bunch of different colors too. If you like the look of it, I recommend go for it. It feels really nice, doesn't feel cheap, looks really cute. The fit is perfect as well. And there's also a bit of room too. It's super stretchy too. So 
Go for it, I love it, and I think that you guys are gonna love it too. Are you right? Yes, I am also excited. Party. What's this? Thank you. Bye, <laughs> You're good at this, aren't you? I have no recollection of this piece of clothing. What is this? Is this a top? Yes. It's a top with daisies on it. Now, unfortunately, the daisies look like they are screen printed on. I would be a little bit concerned that these daisies would start to flake off after a couple of washes. Something that I'm going to be doing next year is going back and looking at some of this cheaper clothing that I've bought over the past few years and telling you guys how it's uh, worn and whether it's... Whether it's like survived the test of time, whether it's lasted in the wash, things like that. So this is one that I'll have to update you on in a while because to me at the moment, I feel like this isn't going to last very long. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know how this is going to fit me. A little bit nervous. Oh my God. Okay. I only just fit. Only just. This barely fits me. I would say size up if you're planning on getting this because there's absolutely no stretch in it. There is no elasticity to this fabric whatsoever. Sometimes with tops like this, on the back, the whole back is elastic, but this is just, there's, there's no give whatsoever. I had to take my bra off. It wouldn't button up with the bra on. It's so tight around my rib cage that if I inhale too much, I will burst all of the buttons. So if you like the look of it, size up, but I would not recommend getting this one. It feels cheap. It looks cheap. I don't know how it looks on camera to you guys, but to me standing in the mirror and looking at it, I can see how cheap it looks. Not entirely sure with these sleeves, if I'm supposed to be wearing them up. When I wear them up, it just, it doesn't really look like it's sitting right. I feel like it's better having them down, but then because there's no elasticity, they just sit in funny spots and it's not really looking very flattering around here because obviously I don't have a bra on and this one's just, just, just kind of like a little bit of a mess, but it has daisies on it. So it's automatically 10 times better, but that still doesn't make it good. <laughs> All right, next up, two piece set. This is very Brandy Melville. They were the vibes that this gave me, but at Brandy Melville, this would have been like 80 bucks. So one thing that I will say, despite the design looking like something from Brandy Melville, the quality, Brandy Melville stuff normally feels a little bit thicker and better constructed. This feels really flimsy and very, very thin. All right, so I sized up in this one. I went for a small instead of an extra small. The small is too big. This is unusual because that top is an extra small and it was far, far too small. I go one size up in a similar style of top that buttons up in the front like that one did. And this, there is a huge amount of extra room here and it's just not fitting me right at all. So, I mean, obviously it's always better to have a bit more room because then you can like tailor it to fit your body. So yes, size up if you like the look of this. But once again, quality wise, this one is a little bit disappointing. It feels very, very cheap. I will say, I don't mind the outfit that much. It's very clueless. Clueless vibes, private school girl vibes. This top buttons up all the way along here, but because it's that little bit too big for me, I was just able to slip it on over my head. But once again, none of this fabric, there's no elasticity in any of this. There is literally no give. Like if I pull on this fabric, no give whatsoever. So a little bit awkward in terms of getting the right size. Got to kind of get it right. But if you like the look of it, go for it. But don't set your expectations too high. It's not Branty Melville. It's not going to feel thick and well constructed. You know, it, it feels cheap. It is cheap and it feels cheap. So if you like it, go for it. But yeah, set the bar like a little bit lower in terms of what you expect for quality. <laughs> about this. This is quite soft. It's, uh, no, I take that back. I touched my face to it and I have realized it is itchy. It is very, very, very itchy. So it looks like it's got a little bit of a turtleneck. Look, I'm gonna need my hands, please. Thank you. So we have a turtleneck. We've got this unusual stitching. It's purple, yellow, blue, pink, red, all sorts of multicolored stitching all around here. It is very, very thick. This feels like it's going to be really super warm. Now, can I just say, I had a comment the other day getting upset with me because we're in Australia and it's hot. And when I say hot, I mean it's sweltering hot. I mean like currently right now today it is 40 degrees Celsius. Americans probably think, oh, 40 degrees, nice and balmy. No, no, 
40 degrees is this many degrees in Fahrenheit. We're all dying. It's the impending heat death of the universe. And I can't wear clothing like this right now. And I had a very angry Australian getting upset with me for showing some winter clothing in a video recently. But may I remind you that like, 70% of my audience lives on the other side of the world and it's cold. <laughs> so this is for you guys. Guys, I'm gonna put this on in the 40 degree heat to show you what it's like because you need warm clothing right now and I most certainly do not. I need to remove several layers of skin to feel comfortable. Ugh, I wish I had a belt to tie this look together. I feel like having this sweater tucked into high-waisted mum jeans with a belt is very like, 1990s it kind of to me really like retro vintage look and I really dig that I actually quite like this aside from the fact that it feels like my skin is on fire this is so itchy are there any life hacks to make things less itchy like do I dunk it in a bath of vinegar and bicarb soda or something and it softens it please please tell oh good lord it's like I'm lying in a pit of ants <laughs> I can't <laughs> I love the look of it, it's so cute. It's so cute, but beauty is pain. Okay, sleeves, sleeves are really long. Lovely and long, they have this ballooning detail, which I really, really like. <laughs> it's so itchy. I like the high neckline. I like the way that it sort of cinches in at the waist a little bit, makes it easy to tuck into things. This would probably be cute with a flared out skirt too, but like I was I was just digging the, the mum jeans look. Like I, I just, I like how laid back and casual it is. I feel like I could be in Stranger Things or something. But I just, I cannot stand how uncomfortable it is, guys. It is shocking. Please tell me in the comments down below how I can fix this situation. Just like a ton of fabric softener, is that all? Is that all I have to do? Because I, I really, I feel like that's not gonna help. Like I may as well be wearing steel wool. Thank you, Archie. Very good. Now you come up, bring it with you. Yes, let's show them. What is this? What? What is this? What is this? What? Oh dear. I can't wear this on YouTube. This is a bodysuit, although it feels more like dental floss. There's not much to it, it's very light. All of these frayed edges, look, I know they're probably deliberately frayed like this, but I worry. Also, these ribbons are just barely hanging on. They're hanging in there for dear life. This is completely sheer. I'm going to have to put something on underneath this so I can get away with wearing it. Actually, maybe I won't wear it. Maybe I could get Sam to wear it. Well, hello, YouTube. Since we obviously can't show Alex wearing this, here's my body scantily clad in this sexy lingerie. But it's perfectly advertiser friendly. <laughs> okay, it's, it's all right. Like it's not quite there, not quite right. This is a bodysuit and in the torso, it's fitting me fine. It's not too short, not too long, but because it is a bodysuit, when I put this turtleneck on and I'm trying to wiggle into the bodysuit and I'm trying to keep the turtleneck down and the bodysuit up and it's kind of like making the turtleneck wrinkle in certain places, maybe I'll be able to work with this a little bit more and think of some ways that I could possibly style it and make it appropriate to wear out in public. Or maybe I just won't wear it in public. Maybe I'll just like, toss it in a drawer in my room and it'll just go to the very back of the drawer never to be seen again like the majority of the nice lingerie that I have because I'm too self-conscious to wear it. This one for me is big flop. I wouldn't have bought it if it weren't for the theme of the video being buying things from a Facebook ad. I would never have bought it. But if you've been looking for something like this, don't buy this one go elsewhere. I don't know where else to tell you to go. Maybe some kind people in the comments can tell you where they've found good quality, sheer bodysuit things like this. Hopefully some people can leave some tips down below because I, I don't know where to send you, but I do know to tell you don't buy this one because it feels awful. Oh dear, why did I buy, oh God. I was just asking myself, why did I buy this? And then I remembered that I was buying everything off a of Facebook ad and for some strange reason, Facebook thought they would recommend this to me. This is, look, this is kind of my jam in terms of pink and strawberries. Um, the, the rest of it, that's not really for YouTube. Thanks. I hate it. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
it's a weird, weird pastel thing. <laughs> So this is a spaghetti strap here, and then a frilly off the shoulder thing here. Um, look, this looks like it belongs in like that 2008 fashion blogger scene. You know, you know the one I'm talking about. This looks like something from that time period. Absolutely no idea how I'm going to style this. Hmm. Hmm. Not a big fan. Uh, it's just too odd for me. It's too unusual. There's too much going on, you know. A spaghetti strap, okay. If it was two spaghetti straps, yeah, maybe that'd be fine. This thing, you know, like either off the shoulder, on the shoulder, what does it want to be? I don't know. If it was all like that, if the frills kind of went all the way along, maybe I'd like it a bit more. It's not very form-fitting. Even though it's peplum and it cinches in at the waist, it just, it's not falling in the right position. If you like it, maybe buy it. It's a reasonable price uh, and it feels nice enough. It doesn't feel super cheap. It's quite thin material, but it's not super sheer. The color is very, very cute, but yeah, like, I guess it looks okay with these blue pants. No idea how I would style this. I would probably give this one a miss too, but hey, the Facebook algorithm did get the color scheme right, at least. The purple, great. All right, well, Look, you know how I said that I need to go out for dinner? Not a huge amount of things here that I think I could get away with wearing to dinner, but potentially, potentially this. Maybe. Depends how short it is on my body. Uh, maybe not. I really like the color. It's ribbed. It feels quite thick, actually. I, I don't think this is going to be too sheer. Oh, well, hang on. No, I take that back. I can see you through the fabric. Hey, stop playing with your phone. So it's got these little cups and uh, I mean for me little cups suit me because there's not a lot going on there but for anyone else that's more gifted in that department perhaps these may not be the right size. <laughs> All right, standing here like this I actually don't feel too bad. It's quite cute, looks nice huh? But then I like take my hair away from here and I, I just, to me these sort of things boob tubes or whatever you call them, they never look good. Like there is no flattering way for this to sit where it doesn't create more boobs. If I sort of hoist it up a little bit and get it like right up into my armpits and just shove this down in there, then it looks okay. But obviously that's not gonna stay like that. That's just gonna slowly fall down and then it's gonna give me these again. And this, this does not make me feel good. Personally, I don't like it. Obviously everyone, has their own perception of themselves and when I see other people wearing clothing and you can see this muffin top whatever you call it I don't think twice about other people it I don't even see it I have plenty of friends that wear these sort of things and when they wear them I'm not like oh look at that it's cutting into them where their armpits are look at that little bit of skin there oh what do you mean they're human <laughs> it doesn't faze me when anyone else wears things like this but for me i i can't do it i just i don't like it when i see it on myself i it, it's all i can think about when i'm walking around and i end up going out hanging out with my friends and like every five minutes i'm like oh, hoisted up to the armpits you don't want them to know that you've got skin the fit of it around here i'm wearing a bra at the moment and the bottom of the bra is here and this thing stops halfway so it's the fit's a little bit awkward. It's also rather sheer too. I, I don't feel great about myself right now. Like things like this make me feel self-conscious. I, I feel like a tube. Like I feel like a tube of toothpaste. 
and you can see every little lump and bump and I don't like it and I'm probably not going to wear this. I can't imagine wearing this. Maybe if I wear it with something on top, like maybe if I just treat it as though it's like a skirt or something, I might be able to wear this. As we saw earlier, I did like the combination of the yellow with the blue pants. So maybe if I put this on, does that look a bit better? Well, no, see for me, this doesn't make me feel better because you can still see all the lumps and bumps. I need to go find my shapewear and all that sort of thing for me to feel better about wearing this. But hey, the color is quite nice. The fabric is really, really thin though. I know it came in other colors, so maybe if it comes in black or something, you wouldn't be able to see straight through it. Hang on, let me take these shoes off. I'm, I'm literally, I am too tall for the camera when I wear these shoes. Yeah, maybe if I invested in like a little slip to go underneath it, or you know, just go, that if I find my shapewear, I can't remember where I put it. It's 2020, like who's wearing shapewear this year, let's be honest. This dress does not make me feel fantastic. I'm gonna have to come up with some creative way to revamp it so that I can wear it, because I don't want it to go to waste. Once again, if not for the theme of the video, I wouldn't have purchased this dress. There's so many things on Shein that I really, really like. I've done a couple of Shein try-on hauls, and when I've picked out the things myself, things that are my style and things that I have looked at the fabric and I've looked at the reviews and I've decided, you know, that looks promising, that looks good. There are some excellent, excellent things on Shein. I'm happy with some of this stuff. Uh, some of it is obviously a terrible fail. As far as what I'm gonna wear out tonight, I think I will probably wear the daisy dress and I'm gonna take this and wear it over the top. Actually, let me change into it now because I, I, I need to leave soon. It's, it's quarter past a freckle. I gotta go soon. All right, it is 7.30 p.m. I have to leave like five minutes ago. Um, if it wasn't 36 degrees outside right now, I would wear this little yellow sweater on top of this dress. I think this is a very cute combination, especially because the flowers on this are purple. The dress is purple. There's yellow in the daisies. The cardigan is yellow. Like, it's very, very cute, but it's way too hot to wear this out. So as far as what I'm gonna wear tonight to dinner, I'm just gonna wear this little dress and I feel really, really cute. So that's it guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe and click thumbs up the like button if you liked this video. Uh, and bear in mind that coming into December, I'm only gonna be posting videos about thrift shopping and things that I've bought while thrifting and flipping thrifted clothes and all that sort of thing. But uh, yeah. That's it for now. Um, as you can see, all of my wardrobes and everything are empty because we just moved. So uh, later down the track, I'm gonna be posting content where I will be like sorting my wardrobe before I put everything away. I'll bring the boxes up and then I'm gonna go through the boxes, the things that I want, I'll put into the wardrobes, the things that I don't want, I'll donate to charity and I'll film all of that too. So again, subscribe and click notifications if you wanna keep an eye out for videos like that. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Mwah!